India is turning the Brahmaputra into a powerhouse of the future. New Delhi has just unveiled a mega 6.4 lakh crore rupees hydropower plan, a plan to harness the river in northeast India, a plan that will light up millions of homes and also fortify India's strength where it matters the most. The mighty river that connects India's frontiers will now help anchor its clean energy ambitions as well as long-term strategic aims. The plan includes tapping over 76 gigawatts of hydro capacity from the Brahmaputra Basin by 2047. The report, released on Monday by India's Central Electricity Authority, says that the plan covers 208 large hydro projects across 12 sub-basins in the northeastern states. The potential capacity has been clocked at 64.9 GW with an additional 11.1 from pumped storage plants. It's a mighty endeavor. Remember the Brahmaputra River, which uh, in fact holds massive hydro potential in its Indian stretch, particularly in the northeastern state of Arunachal Pradesh, next to the China border. Now, why is this such a big deal, in case you're wondering? Let's just break this down for you. The move is part of a wider master plan for the evacuation of power from hydroelectric plants in the Brahmaputra Basin. A massive infrastructure project that has been designed by the Central Electricity Authority. It's also India's quiet response to China's goal of developing the dam on the Yerlang Sangpo River, the Chinese name for the Brahmaputra River. China's mega dam project has already raised serious concern. According to analysts and observers, China's project will result in 85% reduction in the Brahmaputra's flow during the dry season. And that's a significant amount of water, to say the least. It will inevitably affect people's livelihoods and the region's agriculture and ecology. Currently, the Brahmaputra Basin has an installed capacity of 4.8 gigawatts across 22 projects and another 2 gigawatts is in under construction projects. Just to put that in perspective, the region's total hydropower potential equals more than 40% of India's overall hydropower capacity of 145.32 gigawatts. Meanwhile, China's dam, the proposed capacity is 60 gigawatts, nearly three times that of the Three Gorges Dam, the world's largest power station built on the Yangtze River. Now, China has refused to sign the 1997 UN Convention on the Law of the Non-Navigational Uses of International Water Courses, which basically governs the sharing and also the management of transboundary rivers. And that's a massive cause of concern. So China's projects would basically allow it to control and potentially weaponize the river which feeds the Siang, Brahmaputra and Jamuna rivers, leaving downstream communities in India at its mercy in a way. In fact, a 2020 report by Australian think tank talking about this, it said that control over these rivers in the Tibetan plateau effectively giving China a chokehold on India's economy. And so New Delhi is not sitting quietly, nor willing to expose vulnerable communities that depend on these rivers to China's decisions. And that's why the scale of India's response shows just how important the Brahmaputra is to India. Just to put this further in perspective, the total length, about 2,900 kilometers, including 1,346 kilometers in India. The Brahmaputra Basin is spread across 580,000 square kilometers, of which 50.5% is in China, 33.6% in India, 8.1% in Bangladesh, 7.8% in Bhutan. In India, it spans Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, West Bengal, Meghalaya, Nagaland, and Sikkim, covering over 194,000 square kilometers. That's nearly 6% of India's total geographical area. India has already set the ball rolling on that Upper Siang multi-purpose project on the Siang River, the upstream portion of the Brahmaputra. These reservoir-based hydropower projects should be able to counter a heavy flow of water from China if it ever decides to release water without informing India. 
and the reservoirs will also help store water during the monsoon, creating a backup in case China turns off the flow from that dam.